What's up guys, Adrian here from Miami Beach, also known as my potential new home. We're here for the IWJG trade show, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because we're giving away $1,000. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It is the holiday season. So rather than giving away $1,000 in this episode, me and the Gray Market team decided to give a watch off my wrist, which is this Rolex Oyster Perpetual. But we wanna give this Rolex away to somebody who really, really deserves it. So here's what I'm gonna ask you guys to do. I'm going to ask you to submit a 30 second video explaining to me why you really, really deserve to have this Rolex. I am going to have you, the viewers, vote on the top five videos that we're going to pick who gets the Rolex. You can vote for yourself too, by the way, if you really want to. I will need these submissions by December 10th, which means you have four days to submit a 30 second video in the link below explaining to me why you deserve to have this Rolex. So on behalf of Luxury Bazaar and the whole entire Gray Market team, I wanted to wish you a happy holidays and good luck. Enjoy the show. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. I'm in Miami, bitch. So last show of the year, IWJG Miami, one of my favorite towns in the world. When we started Gray Market, going back to season one, we talked about reaching a monetary goal. We said we're going to go from a $100 million company to a $300 million company. Of course, that's not going to happen overnight or over a year. My realistic goal was a 20% growth over the year. And I'm happy to say, I think this year we're going to get to probably 130 million in sales. Of course, we got to keep it fun. Last trade show, we made an over under bet in sales with Adrian. I ended up losing on a technicality, I might add. A lot of you guys thought that I actually won. So I had to make another bet. You made me eat a hot ass chip due to the last bet I lost. Yeah, this is terrible. Because we set the over under 1.3. Yes. What are you taking? I'm just saying, I'm taking the under again. I'm gonna take the over again. Now, if I win, it's gonna be a lot worse than that hot ass chip. I'm gonna promise you that. I refuse to lose this time, Adrian. I got some plans. When it comes to best with Roman, I'm definitely in the W column. I seem to win them all the time. I'm such a big fan. Can I get a photo? Can you go f yourself? Is that Adrian? What's up? Good. You too. 2020 old card. Give me a sec. I just want to finish setting up. Rome, where's the price sheet? And as usual, we don't even get a chance to unpack, and everybody's asking prices. Complete chaos in the beginning. What's up? What's up, bro? How you doing? Chilling. You doing good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've shown this art a couple of times on my channel. Oh, man, how much chance for this? I have no idea. No idea. But Adrian does. 35, it's 2018. Take 35 and I'll take a few pieces. Yeah. 15,500, 4550. Adrian. That's how I'm going to take. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know I got you. I know, I know you do. Um, First thing I did when I walked in here, looking for Luxury Bazaar. He's come a long way from a $20,000 budget coming in and dropping almost a quarter million dollars in a matter of seven minutes. With confidence, I may add. Way to go, Nazar. There's, there's like a crazy rush when you first get in. Everybody's trying to not miss a deal. Open card, 67. Welcome to 2021, almost 2022. It's gonna be too much for me. 24-5. This is a bad idea, yo. That's a bad idea. Brand new, 112. You're talking about the Seiko, 8,500. Bob, we need one of your showcases. <laughs> 27,000. 27? This is 70 grand. 59.60? Absolutely. So you just stole $3,000. Yes? This one is 3,500. 58.5. And I thought it was going to slow down after the morning rush, and it's only started to get busier. I mean, this one is March. This is like 4,200. You, know, you don't know the years on it? I don't. 35 and 42, so 37, uh, 40, uh, 7,700 for both. Jesus Christ. Oh. All right. I think I'm buried in this one. My cost is seven. Is that high? That's high. What's it worth? 
five. I guess this will be online for a minute. Certain new models, when they first come out, they tend to trade higher, then the market fills up with them and the prices tend to go down. So you only have a short window of selling stuff. So when you guys think that all we do is make money on watches, not necessarily, there are pieces out there that we do tend to lose money on. We take those chances every day, just the cost of doing business. I just want to say thank you for real though, because like uh, last year we like started this, this business during quarantine and um, we were just like watching your like videos and like saw your like, you know, come up and- So like, where are you guys you out of everything? now? You're out of here? Florida? Florida? Yeah, 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 Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad drive. So we've like grown hours? it to the yeah, point yeah. Where, where now we can kind of just like do this full time, so. No more Starbucks? No more Starbucks. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like their coffee, but. Yeah. <laughs> but this beats working at Starbucks. Yeah, I, hate, I, I hate Starbucks. Well, I'm, I'm, gla I'm, gla I'm, gla I'm glad you guys made the move, honestly. Adrian, you hear this? We just made three dealers out of watches and whiskey. You, uh, you they watched title, bro. <laughs> and now they're watch dealers a year later. From watches and whiskey? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've tried a lot of different things. became an alcoholic. Guys. You guys made a huge yes. mistake. I was going to make this for you. See, I love these kind of stories. I've always said that if I can be an inspiration to someone, whether they become a watch collector or a watch buyer, or someone that has never even thought about getting into watches and all of a sudden fell in love with watches, that's honestly music to my ear and it warms my heart. Can we do one of those fake deals where I buy the whole uh, case? I don't do fake deals. For the camera? I don't do oh, fake deals for the I know camera. Not you. I know not you. Fake deals for the camera? No. We don't do fake deals for the camera. Of course, Andrew was trolling us a little bit. I had to troll him right back. Did you lose some weight, Andrew? No, I wish. I kind of did. I just losing. got it. In McDonald's, the only thing I can afford. How much uh, Sky Dweller and the, uh, the New Style Day Day over there? There's a few more as well. We'll start with these. I got you. Bro, this guy needs 67 for it. 67? Yeah. How bad? Cheaper than everybody else in the room. How many millimeters for this? This? Can I see it? How yeah. much is? 73,000. You have the box in here. Job in my. This watch is fing older than you. What? Yeah, but the no, is no like caja, a, no papeles. No caja, it's it's like a, a, it's a, a vintage. Right. How is it vintage in Spanish? It's a new Antigua. Antigua. That's Antigua. antique, though. That's not vintage. Antigua. Antigua. The size? It's 36. Sure. Yes. Is that a paddock 3800? 36, 36 millimeters. It's a paddock 3800. 36 millimeters. What's the best price for, for this one? 73. 72. I give it to you 72. I want to say hello to this old man. Excuse me, old man. Hey, good to see you. Hey, I just got. I just got. I'm trying to set up, and I can't. What do you mean, try set up? Because people are coming. I haven't had. A, I can't fit. I don't you have too many clients. Too many people no, are coming it, here. No bothering you. The stuff is not fitting. That's the problem. Nah, that's a good problem to have. Yes, Alfredo Paramico. A very important watch dealer slash watch collector. Some of the most important things came through his hand. Most recently, you can look him up where he sold off the most tremendous offshore collection in the world. And this guy's a CrossFit junkie. He can deadlift a Mack truck, from what I understand. You know, you know he can power lift like 600 pounds. I'll reach, I'll reach. What do you deadlift? No, deadlift. 525? 520? Oh, yeah. Jump change. 525. That's way too much money. You think my price is a bad walk the room? When it comes to watch dealers, I've heard every argument under the sun. But our prices are very fair. We don't try to get every less dollar like some of the dealers out there today, especially in the hot market. We know what it's like to leave a little bread on the table. And sometimes you just got to stand up for yourself and be firm on your pricing. It's nothing personal, guys. It's just business. I used to be able to buy from you guys. Bro, I pay strong. You want me to see my costs on it? I'll show you. I pay strong it just to have it. How much? 14. What do you want to bet that I paid more? I bet you what are we betting? No. no, what are we betting? I don't know my cost. I'll look right now. What are we betting? On a zenith? What are we betting? I'm not going to bet with you. Uh-huh, uh -huh. see? Of course, Rick is an old buddy of mine. Uh, he's R&R watches on eBay. He was actually one of the guys that started alongside with me when it was just like a handful of dealers on eBay. So I could flat out show him my cost. I can flat out tell him to go f himself. It's okay. It's all friendly. 14.9 I paid. Because I can't replace it. That's the problem. Yeah, but the, the bezel's overpowered, the bracelet's loose. So what would you pay for this? 15.8, I'm buying these two. Adrian. Нам стоит 14, ты хочешь 15,800 их отдать? Да. Okay. Fine. Yeah, you're not being stuck with 
No, you're not. Thank you. I paid 21000 for this. I believe it. No, I didn't. <laughs> and then something serious happened at the watch show. Something unfortunate as watch dealers that we never ever want to experience. Some guys got five watches stolen from him. A lot of the times, as you guys can see, when the watch show opens and throughout the whole watch show, a lot of people tend to crowd in one area and there's people asking prices for all types of watches so what happens is you start taking watches at your showcase sending uh, showing it to this guy showing it to this guy and you might turn for a second and that guy could be gone a friend of ours got dropped they stole five watches right so guys you gotta be here extra careful okay now this isn't something that happens often it happens in the blue moon it usually happens to a dealer who is loose and not careful with his merchandise in the case of the gentleman whose watches were stolen security has always been my number one concern at the end of the day you can be in the business god knows how many years it takes one time of not being careful and you can lose hundreds of thousands of dollars for the most part if i don't know you and you walk up to my booth you're looking at that watch i'm looking at that watch with you one at a time same things i've told alex and nick when they've done these trunk shows same thing i, I told nico when he did the first london show be careful be careful be careful yesterday price is not today's price oh i, I trade price my went off. Off. how are you man? chilling everything good yeah Come on, I gotta sell you something. Can we make a deal? Yes, let's go. How much, McLaren? Uh, 525. Yeah. McLaren. Okay, yeah. Concept, great. 230. Looks like it's got very expensive nowadays. I'm expensive. Let's go walk over to your showcase. I wanna hear your prices. I'm expensive. I got an idea. Why don't you turn around and go to that guy right there? And then come, if, back, and then come back to me, I'll be cheap. The market is high. We pay high and we sell higher because the market is high. I think half the goddamn room was high. How about that? Jesus Christ, Eddie, what the f is this? And I don't necessarily just always walk around the room to buy stuff. People come to my booth to sell just the same. Booker? Nice what, what, what am I supposed to do with these? How many cents? I want to sell the entire lot. 75 I, th nice I think you're strong. No, I don't think so. How much? How many cents is this? 35 cents. You said 25 cents. On right? everything. On this particular, it's 35 cents. Yes, it's a nice piece. Red carpet piece. I don't want to stop this, Eddie. I'll be honest with you. I, I mean, you know, as much as I'd love to go back and forth and try to make some trades happen, if you send me that list... Is there I, anything that you got stuck that you cannot sell for a long time and you would rather... Honestly, those times are long gone. So you, I guess you're doing something right then. I'm trying. So I was stuck at the booth most of the day and I was itching to get out there and buy some things. Let's go do some buying. So what are we doing with this? No, shake your head. Think of a price. You won't like my price. It's 289 list, Michael. No. And it comes with a graph rank, 6.5 carats for anybody's interested. What are you thinking? Like 60. No, I paid more. Why? It's 289 list, Mike. Think about it. Yeah, but how rare is it though? Think about it. On the brace, they're full pavé. When was the next time? When was the next time or last time you see one? I've never seen one. Exactly. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, I'll, see you, I'll see you guys back at the booth when you're ready. Of course, we ran into some old friends. Where are you guys? <laughs> uh, we're over there. See Adrian right there? No, he can't see Adrian over there because he's in a room wearing dark ass glasses as he always does. Man, then I, Anthony's, I Anthony's at a business convention. <laughs> I know, self-help entrepreneurship. What is that? <laughs> Look at this thing. It's an artisan. It's an artisan de Genève? Yeah. It's actually cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, they're mimicking the old James Bond. I like it. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. I wish they put a big-ass crown on it. Yeah, that's, I mean, it, I think it's slightly bigger, no? It's, no. It feels. It feels. Like, the I mean, ground guard, it feels. Yeah. They need something to Yo, push. that's the infamous background. The man purse background. What about I, I got one of those. Uh, I don't know, but I sold a ton of Rolexes in the beginning, as usual. And I sold a couple of big pieces, too. So You guys I'm, got I'm, in I'm, when? Uh, last night. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go walk around and see if I can buy some. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give you a tour of IWJG. Right now, I'm coming up on the world famous CRM Jewish. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Glad, For somebody who's that famous, he's damn sure camera shy. I don't yeah. understand why you're so camera nah, shy. Man. You know what? You need nah, to get man. out of the frame. Come here. You're not camera shy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to this guy right here because cause that guy's camera shy over there. How's the show? Can't complain. Man. Good. Good, good. So I found out, you know that crazy ass Omega that sold for 3.2 million CHF? Yeah, yeah, so, I, so I found out 
it was a guy from Bahrain who's got a lot of money and some guy from China, they were battling. That's why I, I thought it was the Omega. Omega stopped at 650. Omega bid the watch up to 650,000 Swiss. They stopped and these guys just battled it out. Who's yeah. bigger? And that's what I keep telling people. They see these auctions results and they're like, yeah, you know, in last auction I did this. I'm like, you get two in a room you don't know what's going to happen you know what i mean it's just people sometimes they their they're ego fired, gets the best yeah, of them fired, and the guy in bahrain probably see probably there's, I've seen that there's, people, that there's people who do that just for the other person to buy the expenses bro i am i'm the same way like i buy antique guns but i buy it an auction also sometimes my ego gets the best of me you know i see some guy bidding i'm like i'm gonna bid again and i'm gonna bid again and it, i end up over, and i end up over paying you know it's that's why auctions work yeah and then tell me the price on a brick please my, my girl anna from the office just asked me for a brick any color so 67 and a half. Not bad. Not bad, right? Paper or no? Oh, we put a G on top. Okay. Let me ask Anna, because she said she had a call for any dial. What would you buy that at? So you could tell. 65, No, 65, you should tell them to come down to. I sold the last one for 65. So, what do you think? Is that, is that a full set? That's a full set. You yeah. bought a brand new With that one. That big on mahogany box. box. I know, I know. Like, I'm going to buy it at 60. The one that I like that I was reading on was the F.P. Jordan, the one that has a turbine. I, can, I don't know how Severin? to pronounce it. Severin? Yeah. I didn't know how to pronounce it. When there's a market on something that's controlled mostly by a single entity, that's a problem. Richard Mille market is not controlled by a single entity. You have all of us that have them. But F.P. Jordan is in the hands of majority one party, right? So that's why I get a little scared. When it's, when you're, scared, you're, more, you're scared of I'm scared. I'm, no, I'm scared. I'm, no, I'm not scared of Richard Mille. Richard Mille, I'm not scared of at all. Richard Mille, you're going to see. Mainly China is going to open up. It's going to go through the roof again. Hi, right, I'll see you. I'll see you later on. See you, boys. Thank you again. Yeah, no problem. How much did you pay for this? He's been offered 70 already. 70? 2021. 20, I mean, I like the dial better than uh, the blue dial, but it doesn't bring it right? I, I, I'm, I didn't hear. It does. You just can't find them in platinum. I wouldn't pay 70 for it. So one of the great things about being in this business is getting watches offered to you that sometimes you don't see very often. In this particular piece, it's a platinum day date 40 millimeter with an olive dial. You don't really frequently see them that much. There's a lot of demand for the white gold and there's a lot of demand for the rose gold. But because it's platinum, it brings a lot more money. But I actually prefer the smooth bezel on it and I wish I actually bought that watch. I think you should sell it for 70. I don't know what you're into it for, but I think. 63. I would sell it. Seven. It's my personal watch. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Would you like to buy need, all my tutors? I need, uh, no. What you need, I know. You put it on the chat. I know, I know. I need, I need all of it. I don't know. How much for the 1103? The which one? The black one or the McLaren? The McLaren. <laughs> need it for personal. For, for you, 525. 525. Damn, that's actually. That's cheaper than anybody. Yeah. Else. I've been asking 540. Damn. Damn. He's got inspiration right on his phone. <laughs> Play better. There's a turbine version. There is a turbine. I mean, yeah, 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 Can yeah, we yeah, start yeah. with this? Listen, man. I, Can we start with that? I just started making money. I don't, I don't got that much. You think Anthony will pick up his FaceTime? No, he's in like some important business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him you bought this. Yeah, yeah. T tell him I bought it for six hundred. Yeah, oh, he, he did. Uh, is this is this kid good for six hundred? Yeah. All right, well, cause he just bought a McLaren, and I don't mean the car. He bought the watch. <laughs> <laughs> How's the conference, bro? Good. Yeah? Are you gonna make are you gonna make it here at all or no? I don't think he is. Alright, call me. Peace. That's a nice what do you think is this worth? Probably 180. It's 190 I would say. He wants 230. You're paying 190. 230 is like top dollar. So over the counter price, that's 180. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> I mean Jacob counter. offered him 180. He didn't take it, but which one you like better? This one or that one? Honestly, I like this. You like that one better? They made a lot less of these than these. You know that, right? Yeah, of course. And this is D serial. This is one of the first skeleton Royal Oaks they made in the bigger size. Prior to that, they had a skeleton that was a quartz. They had a tiny skeleton little guy. Quartz. Then they had a 36. She no, it wasn't a quartz. She has a really nice linen area. I was like, how do they do that? <laughs> it's like, That's a nice one. Open work wires. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mark, he wants 35,000. I'll offer him 20. <laughs> it's a Dior Turbion. I mean, what are you going to do with that? Fashion brands, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior, 
everybody wants a big piece of the pie. What is it really worth at the end of the day? Not a whole lot. And the reason for that is because there's not a lot of buyers out there that are going to appreciate a Turbion or any watch for that matter from Christian Dior. Because the circle of people that will consider a Christian Dior watch or Chanel watch or, or be it a Louis Vuitton watch is so small that you end up losing a lot of money because as a dealer, we literally would only pay cents on a dollar for something like that. Yeah. My wife was like, oh, I like this. Of course you do. It's nice. For, it is. It's for nice. Me. Yeah, it's nice. You know what the retail is? 270,000. Ouch. Who's the poor guy that bought it? I know. You know somebody walked into the store and bought that for retail. Where is he today? Eric, who's the ultimate Cuban? Um, Scarface. Tony Montana, I was going to say. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. The ultimate Cuban after you. <laughs> let me rephrase that real quick. Yeah, this, but I think this is expensive. the Scarface watch. It's always cool to have a watch that has a little bit of trivia with it. Of course, the watch I have wasn't the actual watch that was in the movie, but uh, it was that particular model. If you go to a the famous shootout scene at the club, when Frank tried to execute Tony, he was sitting in a booth and he was wearing that watch. The eyes, Chico, they never lie. Alice just sold the Grand Comp. The same guy that we bought the Royal Oak, that bought the skeleton from us. That piece unique, skeleton, minute repeated, perpetual, calendar, split second, chronographs, try to say that fast five times. Yes, it was sold. It was sold at a good profit, and I was extremely happy. Didn't mean to rain on Neil's parade, but that was some good news. Are you serious? That's cool. How many pieces? Five? No, you don't know. It's an early piece. They, made, they didn't make a lot of them. I just bought it. I have a cool one, five in the world, Nigeria edition. The Africa one? What do you want for yours? It's the same size, right? Yeah. And it has factory you know a lot. You know a lot of people do. The, the, the Africa piece? It comes out. Really? So you can actually pull the Africa piece out and it just becomes a regular skeleton. But that, that kills it. No, it's the other way around. People don't like because because the logo, the Africa map, it's, it, it hides the skeleton. So a lot of people pull it out. They keep it. But an African guy will love that. You got a lot of those walking through? Not really. <laughs> Unless you go to the Sahara Desert. Shout out to my boy Neil from TPT coming over to do some business. Every time he comes over, he's a really, really good buyer. He knows what he wants. He knows the prices for certain items and he's very, very pleasant to work with. This is dope. This is original. So it's that full 5A original. It's dope in your case. Yeah, hey, I know. Uh, you know what I want to sell you? I want to sell you a bunch of ladies Royal Oaks. Okay, let's do it. Pull out the black, the white. Adrian, please help my brother out. I'm going to I'm gonna call him my senior partner. My senior, my senior guy. So this is 20,500? 20,500 brand new full set. Brand new full set. Oh. What about this? One second. I never stocked one of those. Bro, they're rarer than the freaking rainbows. That's 41, right? Yeah. How much? Adrian, what's best for Neil on this? What's best for Neil on this? 180. Everybody's asking 200. 180. Everybody's asking 200, bro. It's brand new Fosa. Yeah. What is the reference number, sir? Uh, it's under. And where's the white doll? Which one? The white doll with the diamonds. Where'd it go? Uh, I don't know. Which one? Bro, you had a white doll 33 with diamonds. Uh, maybe it's sold. I have the two two tones. just here. Like the oh, oh, Adrian is checking the price. Oh. Ah. How much is it? I sold my concept today. Actually. Which one? The white. white How much you get? That's strong. That's you, did good, good, you did good. You did good. Put no money in these. Yeah. Okay, let me go with this tray. Right. I'll be right back. So far, we did by 600. Guess, guesstimate. But we sold a watch outside of the show. It had nothing to do with the show that basically, basically broke the you know broke the over under. Thank you, baby. It's a grand complication. Hey. Nick's gonna be sewer, sour, or whatever. When we get paid and the client puts it on his wrist. Okay, Debbie Downer. Well, it's been 10 years since I've sold my first watch ever. And I have done a lot of deals together with Roman, and I always tell Roman, Roman, we don't count our chickens before they hatch. Once the watch is delivered and we get the bank wire, then we can celebrate. You're gonna be, you're gonna regret what you said if that if that sale doesn't go through. So wrapping up day one, it was a hella show. Super busy in the morning as usual. 
sold a few key big pieces, a lot of AP, obviously a lot of Rolex. I think I'm definitely going to win because at this point we are getting close to the 1.3 million and this is just the first day. So hopefully tomorrow we'll kick it in gear, sell a couple of big pieces and I'll be a winner and then I have to figure out how to punish Adrian for that f spicy chip I ate. <laughs>
pounds. So now they gave me a five pound waiver that said come back 127. Three times I went back and forth. Grandpa moved in, old military guy, retired colonel. And every morning he and stuffed me with shit with grandma. Gained five pounds. Two weeks later, five pounds to the T. I get to the map center, I'm 127 on a dot. My recruiter wanted to put gel in my hair, lead weights in my shorts, like he was trying to do all kinds of shit. But I, I was him. That was me. How about this? I, I left the military three years later, I was still 127 pounds. I didn't start gaining weight till I was like close to 30. Really? Yeah, I was scrawny just like you, bro. I was a little bit taller, but scrawny. We got we got we got a FaceTime Alex. What's going on in the office? What are we selling? Did you break the news to Nick yet that now you hold the record for the highest watch sold? Uh, yeah. No, don't say nothing. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it when I get to the office. Take your time later. <laughs> Alright, bye. Now Alex came back with a grand comp, and that's gonna be a tough number for Nick to beat, but it's all in love, it's all friendly competition. And speaking of Alex, Alex is having his best month yet. If all goes well, Alex will get close to two million in sales. Not bad for a kid that's been doing sales for six months. It's a thousand less, mine. Okay, so... Hey, it, this is I, virtual. I, I, this I, I, is... Yes. 33,000, I bet. Okay. okay, this I take 20. This is too much. 34,000. 33. 33. Let me make a thousand. 33. No? 33. I take that. 33.5. Oh, I'll go price. If you make a thousand, bro, you got the pin, just this alone is a thousand. You're getting a Shabbat price on a Tuesday. I don't think anybody else does. How much is this? I bought it because you didn't want it. Right now, 24.5. Damn! I sounded just like Smokey. <laughs> Make me a voice, please. Thank you. Day two has been amazing. Made a big sale at the very end. Took the over, way over. We hit over 1.3 at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I just did a one sale that was 8.50, so we're way over. It should have been 2.3. Are you admitting defeat? I'm, admit I'm happily admitting defeat. Happily. How about we broke the record outside of the show? Who won the 1.35? We go. sold outside the show, not more than we did here, but we sold us our selling outside the show was more than 1.35 today. What are you talking about? In terms of gross revenue. Not sold at the show. We sold Well, today. this is technically a show or no? No. Even without that, we broke it. That's true. I guess the only question is, what do I make them do that's worse than eating that Chip. Wait a second, I bet you two bottles of 42. Hold on a chip. No, no, no. You made me eat a bite. Yeah, I have GI problems. So this is one bet that I'm more than happy to lose. Obviously, if our company does more revenue than I anticipated, it's much better for the whole. So I'll take my L. All right, so I won this time. We ended up doing almost 2.6 million at, at that show in literally a day and a half. So why don't you guys comment below what Adrian's punishment should be? I shouldn't call it punishment, or what do I get as a prize for winning the bet this time around? He made me eat a chip that burned a hole in my stomach, almost literally. You guys comment, and I'll make Adrian pick out the best one. Great market, baby! Yellow gold champagne. He wants 50. Do you have any patties? No, take it. Just take it. 125? The expansion to Miami, leaving family, friends. You know, I feel even worse, if you will, right? Slowly but surely, my family will move to apartment.